Hey folks, I'm finishing up getting ready for work. This is my first day back to work after six months of being furloughed. I am so excited and I can't wait to bring you along. I've got a three day trip planned and I think it's going to be amazing. You know what? I got to hurry up and get ready because my van is about to pull up to take me to the airport. So with that being said, let's roll that intro. Good to be back in my galley. All right, folks, so I am on my plane. This is the first time being back on the plane as a working crew member. I'm so excited to get started. We're ready to start boarding here in just a minute, so I gotta get ready. But as you see, I'm wearing my mask just like all passengers have to during the entire flight, unless you're actively eating or drinking. So nothing has changed there. So make sure you come, book your tickets, and let's fly somewhere together. I'm excited that I get to enjoy tomorrow when I wake up the Mall of America. I get to go there and I'm hearing that a lot of the shops are open. I'm hearing that um, there's still not a lot of people in there, but you know what? We're going to find out. And that's what being a traveling jump seater is. So Marcus and I, we have decided also that we're going to be doing a little something different and adding to this channel. So uh, stay tuned for that. Folks, it's getting bedtime. Like I said, it's past midnight. I'm going to bed. All right, so one of the first things I see is Lego. So, the Lego store is still opening, or opened, I should say. So I got a lot of friends that love Lego. And this is pretty cool. You can go in and buy some pieces. It's not as big as I thought it would be though. When the first time I saw it, I thought it'd be a lot bigger. Looks like there's a line to get in. They can only have so many people inside the store, so that's still in effect. Okay. Nickelodeon Universe.
my Disney fans, you'll see that they've got the Rainforest Cafe here as well. You know, they've also, Universal's got the Bubba's Gump. So, one place, Margaritaville. Look at that, they're all connected. So, you can hear, I don't know if you can hear in here, right, what I'm hearing, but. They got the views. to get into the Chipotle. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that before to get into Chipotle. Thai Kitchen. We've got a sugar factory which sells burgers, salads, chocolate, pasta, pizza, steak, gelato, espresso desserts, candy, milkshakes, goblets, and crepes. Bon Chan, Candy Express, and W, and Long John Silvers. My goodness, I haven't had Long Johns in a long time. Get it? Long? Got it. Noodles. Oh, I do like noodles. They're so good. There's coffee shops. I guess the flat hat is uh, chai. Ooh, chai. Masu. Cadillac Ranch. I mean, cause why not have a Cadillac just sitting up top? Oh, and even Benihana. Okay. So the Cantina Laredo, Modern Mexican, you know, Baking Betty's. You've got a lot of different options up here. Pot Belly Sandwich Shop. I can't tell. That kind of looks close to me. Let's take a walk. Yeah, looks like Pot Belly is closed. Pot Belly is closed, so I like Pot Belly. It's a good, that's really a good sandwich spot. Hmm. Well, that's a shame.
think this is the first Apple store I've seen without having Apple on the outside. Kind of uh, weird to me. Hmm. Travel store. You can... They don't sponsor us. Just wanted to show it to you. Oh my goodness, look at this. Wow. From Nestle. Oh, you should smell it. Wow. It smells so good. So. Hello. Looks delicious. There you go. You even got ice cream to make your sandwich with. Build your ice cream sandwich. Different flavors. Rocky Road, oh, peanut butter cup. Oh my yum. Yeah. Wow. All right, so, you've got Shark Attack entrance. It's a 5D Shark Attack mystery mine. I don't know what it is. An underwater. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ride is closed. So you're not getting the full attraction, so. So, as you're seeing that this ride is closed right now, the people, I've been here a couple years ago and this place was packed. It's not that packed right now, as you can tell, you're seeing a little bit of the vibe that's in here right now. But with some of these attractions, with the Nickelodeon closed, um, people just don't want to go. Like myself, I thought I was going to get a ticket today. I was going to ride it. It was available for two hours. The park or the Mall of America is open today. Today is Sunday um, from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. is the time that they were open. Well, you can get a universal um, Nickelodeon, excuse me, Nickelodeon uh, ticket for good for two hours to write everything as I understand but I don't want to do it right now I mean it's Nickelodeon universe that's why I kept wanting to say universal Nickelodeon universe but I really don't want to do it right now when it's not that busy does that is that weird I don't know anyway I'm just here to check out the mall a little bit um, pair of shoes or nice some insoles because my feet are hurting so this film is going to be very short today so I'd love to show you a lot more looks like a lot of the stores are open you can definitely tell the people are here people do want to be here the shops are open but the tourists are not here I think that's the difference the tourists are not here so anyway Oh, I'm even walking past a Wetzel's Pretzels. Look at this. I like pretzels. Okay, now I'm hungry. I just moved places. I am now at Margaritaville. And I, as soon as I got over here, the bartender asked me if um, I wanted to sit down. She's, and I said yes. She goes, let me wipe this, uh, wipe it down first. 
And then she wiped it down, she started walking away, she turned around, she goes, I'll be right back with you. Thank you. That's service. I'll immediately, I already know I'm gonna have great service today. The prices may not be what I'm looking for. However, this is Jimmy Buffett's margarita bill. It's five o'clock somewhere, and guess what? We're 20 minutes in prior to five o'clock. But look at this. I can tell she's busy. I'm telling you. You know, she's the only one behind the bar. She's working hard, hasn't stopped. I've only been in here maybe three minutes and I can tell that um, I matter. Immediately, I mattered here. So, I appreciate that. I know I sound like I'm rambling, but it makes a difference to me and I hope it does to you too. So, let's see if I get a menu though. That's, the, that's gonna be the question. <laughs> So I just got done with my dinner and it was my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But I was able to pick up something for tomorrow and I'm heading back to the room. So it still feels like it's early. However, the mall closes today at 7 p.m. It is Sunday, they opened at 11 and uh, it's basically just time to go. Something about this mall, I don't know if you knew, it was built in 1992. So this built was from the same area as the uh, Minnesota Twins where they uh, played their games at and uh, Minnesota Vikings as well. So these were the grounds that that's where they used to play at. So I think that's kind of cool. So 1992 this building was erected and then close nearby um, was the Met Center which was demolished in 1994. So this was the Met Stadium, the Metropolitan Stadium, back in 1992. So this mall, even though it's one of the, I think the fourth largest or something like that in the world, um, this lived up for a long time as uh, its reputation. So it, it doesn't look like it was built that long ago. So I get, they're doing something right. Anyway, y'all, have a wonderful time. I think I'm done for now and my trip continues through tomorrow. We shall see what my next ones will bring. Um, anyway, glad to have you along. We'll see you later, okay? Have fun, bye.